warm welcome to the final of the World Junior Championships here on the under 19 division. In this final we have an all Dutch final between Yannick Pongers and Mika van Berkel. It's a race to seven, alternating break. And in the booth for this one is Benjamin Belhassen from France and myself, Tim de Reuter. Good morning, Benjamin. Good morning. Yeah, you might be proud of this because as everybody knows, you're from the Netherlands, so it's an old Netherlands finals here, under 19 division. Yeah, I've seen this uh, match happen uh, probably uh, six, seven times already so in my life, so yeah, I'm not surprised by this matchup so far. We both know how capable both gentlemen are, and I really expect this to be a strong final from either side. Yeah, battling for a world title is never something, you know, it's big, I mean, for those two guys, so. Well, the only thing most of the people would be thinking, Yannick has a little edge here, because mm. on the international stage, he's yeah. had a couple better results, and uh, also yeah. overall against each other, probably a little better, but still, two years ago, he's lost the final here, and why could it not happen again, for yeah, example? Yeah. Like it, it's only one match, and it's a race of seven, so. Absolutely. Yeah. He will be definitely wanted to, to take an early lead here to, to make sure he becomes the world 10-ball junior champion. Oh, starts off with a dry break. And the Netherlands have always been a, a strong country pool-wise. I mean, I remember European championships back in the years where there were Alex Lely, Nick Vandenberg, Niels, of course, also Rico Dix. They were battling with, at that time, the, the Swedish team, the Germans. Big fights. And uh, yeah, now we have a lot more, too. <laughs> maybe we added six guys, seven guys to it. And then we have these youngsters into yeah, the mix. So. That's why I'm telling that the Netherlands are really definitely one of the, the strongest countries for pool. Nowadays, I mean, you have Netherlands, you have Germany, and you also have now Poland, of course. So, so didn't get on the two ball because the two was a little tricky. Didn't go to the side. It's opted to play the safe on the two. Pretty good. Yannick called the kick bank on the two. He's gonna always have separation if he doesn't make yeah. it. If he catches this bottom side, he's most likely to. Get safe. That was a great shot there, though we left uh, the two ball open, but still it was a good hit and a good choice selection here. Yeah, just caught it maybe a little bit too thick. But yeah. Also, everybody will understand that going off the rail, you're <laughs> not always going to yeah. hit it as thin at thick as you want to. At least he hit the right side of the ball, so. Yeah. So, another chance for Mika. Good shot there. He used the speed of the cue ball to stop into the sixth for the three. Oh, it's cool. Did he touch the eight? Something happened here. Oh, we're going to see it. but so Actually, I was focused on the two ball and uh, the cue ball going into the six. Yeah, so... I, we don't really know what's happened there. Yeah. But we'll be we'll be able maybe to see it on the replay. On the other side, a very open layout for Yannick to really get going. That's yeah. As I feel, um, Mika, of course, is a rhythm player, but he has a different kind of standard. I think he's more consistent technique-wise. But then Yannick, when he gets going, is yeah. he really gets going? Like yeah. he just won't stop for maybe 30 minutes, yeah, one yeah. hour. So he's a kind of a freewheeler. Yeah. And uh, so it's two different styles, even though they're still young. <laughs> they 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 move around around the table very yeah, fast, yeah. both of them. But they have still two different similar rhythm, styles. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, made it look easy. One zero here, Jan Yannick Pongers. Yeah, and actually the um, the shot clock is really uh, 
it's really not a big deal for Yannick because he's playing so fast and but he doesn't even wait 10 or 15 seconds to take each shot so See what happens here. Just oh, oh, he dropped his cue off his hand on the eight ball. I saw he, he hit yeah. the ball and yeah, we yeah. still didn't see yeah, it. Yeah, we that's why I w we couldn't have seen it because uh, we were focused on the I mean on the cut and on the the cue ball. Maybe he just was so into the cue ball running into the balls so that he just kind of yeah. like body move from that. It's something that's the weird thing with pool two. People underestimate it sometimes just being a little bit off guard can really catch you. Yeah, true. And this is, I think, a really big example of something like that, which is going to make the final a little bit more interesting because if he starts like this and Yannick gets an early lead, it's going to be very tough for Mika to catch up. We'll be breaking and second rack here. On the side rail, different approach than Yannick. Pretty square hit, just the eight was going to the side, got yeah. kissed away by the six, and I don't no know if ball. Yannick has a shot on the one to the side pocket. It might be a tough one, but still he can stop the cue ball and has a shot on the I think two, I'm so. playing safe behind the five. Yeah, that's what he did. Good job there. I don't think the jump is there. No, I or at least I don't. <laughs> don't like I was gonna say no, it's impossible. But I, it's it's really close to the five yeah, ball. That's close. why I didn't like it that much. It's also possible. I seem yeah. to like the one real kick. Oh, he is jumping. Yeah, he's jumping. I just like to kick at this ball because there's five balls you can get yeah. lucky behind. Even mm. if you catch the left side of the one, the cue yeah. slides underneath. There's yeah, many right. good things that can happen. Yeah. This is the same though. If he hits the one, well, oh, nice shot, Mika wow. van Berkel. Nice. It looked to be really close to the five, yeah. but he, he got away with it really Dart clean. stroke. Yeah, great. Straight in the pocket. Of course, he was not going to get on the two, but now yeah. he has a really good opportunity to play good safety. Yeah, and he can also open up those three balls, playing safety like the four, nine, and ten, hitting the running into them, just like that. We opened up the four a little bit, so two ball. that was a great shot. I don't know if the seven ball is kind of on the way of the kick. It looks like you can kick it two rears and clip it to the top right corner. If he hits the second rail, then anyway, he will create distance. I feel the seven is really in the way. Yeah, but yeah. And yeah, that was. was the thing. I think, especially the speed. Yeah. If he played shorter but softer, yeah. it would open up and still get there, but this speed, I don't think it, it was possible. Yeah, I think he didn't choose the, the right speed here to hit it properly to create at least separation between the two balls. So, Van Berka has here the, the opportunity to tie up the match. He really strokes the ball well. I like the way he played that three rails. Yeah, that's what I've been telling many people is, in general, I really like his Q action maybe a little bit more than Yannick because he's more fluent and more open. Yeah. But Yannick, oh Yannick, Yannick has a more compact style. Yeah. Very effective too. So two different styles, but I don't see why both of them couldn't work too. Absolutely. Like it's yeah. And they are both in the final of the World Championships. So exactly. They proved... But I, but I wouldn't underestimate Mika because he's maybe a different style too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the people, I, th I feel most of the people would underestimate him. Okay, oh. decided to open the balls up because that was yeah. a little problem. And he also chose to do this aggressively yeah. because the 10 was going towards the 5. So I like the way how he's played that. And now probably going to bump the 10. Float the five in, bump the yeah. ten, have a small angle to get off the rail. Yeah, if it's possible, he would definitely do this. Yeah. Problem is the ten is going into the the path of the eight ball on the top right, so he might elect to play the. Yeah, he doesn't have that much of an angle here though. Yeah, he has a shot. 
and you will stay probably on the on this side of the table to play the eight ball on the side. Still sensitive, cue ball on the rail. Yeah. If he stops the cue ball, it's gonna move a little bit over Absolutely. to the bottom yeah. in this view. So and I don't know if the eight ball passes the nine. Looks like yes, but he, he definitely wants to play the eight on the side, I believe. Yeah, that's a good shot there. Yeah, so depending on how you make the seven. Like if you make yeah. it more to the left, then you're good, but sometimes you will just hit it straight and then it gets really stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sometimes really, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we'll float the eight in. Oh. Yeah. That was because of the speed he chose on that shot. I think he would have, he would have rather to, to stun it a little bit and make the, make the hit a little thicker. And as he slow rolled it, then he, ho he overcut it. That happens all the time. I, ju I just feel his overall concept, like he's not been fully focused in the match yeah. so far. I mean, even this speed, he should be okay. So yeah. twice he's ran out so far and given Yannick Ponger is the perfect opportunity to go take the early lead to zero. Youngsters probably become tough players in the on the world stage in the years to come. Players like Copigny, Sanchez Ruiz, Fedor Gorst have already Alo been Aloysius Yap. Aloysius Yap, yeah, they have already been world junior champions in the boy divisions. So I believe also Sanjin Perivanovic who is playing the world eight ball yeah. and final I'd soon. I don't I'd know I if he was world uh, world junior I think champion. So. Yeah, I, think I, I, I do seem to recall somewhere yeah, okay. deep in my mind, but anyway. I mean, just many of those players have been. Yeah, through the youth program yeah. of the EPBF. Yeah, I just the level is so high at these championships yeah. too. So many good college players, so many good German players. Every year they keep. They yeah. keep bringing new players yeah. too, like in Germany and Poland. And then for such a small country as the Netherlands is, yeah. they actually produce fine players as we see here. Yeah, you can be proud of this. <laughs> no, I mean... Well, <laughs> it's not about me, but no, yeah, I'm sure. No, I'm not talking about <laughs> you, I'm, I'm talking about you, the Netherlands. Yeah, of yeah. course, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, dry break, lost the cue ball a bit, a little bit more top spin on the cue ball, but in this case, you know... Yeah. If you can dry break every time and leave your opponent hooked, you know, yeah. just take it because it's not the worst place to be. Yeah, it has to push. And definitely you want to push it towards the the short rail. He hit that a little firm. Yeah. I, yeah, he's, he's not yet in his final. I mean... Maybe it could be early nerves too. Yeah, like of course. Listen, it's, it's his first time he's in a World Junior Championship final. Which for of Yannick course. is already the second time, so maybe yeah. he learned a little bit more how to deal with it. And Yannick has played on the TV table with the shot clock. Mika has mm, been not so that's far, a big I remember. Deal. Yeah, that's a big right? deal. I mean, I'm just wondering. I don't think I've seen Mika on the TV table yet. So I think is Mika is younger, no? One year at least. <sighs> I, they're both 18, but I think okay. one is early in the year and the other one is oh at the okay. end of the year. So it's th th that's but still so far I remember. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen many times Yannick playing Euro tours and European Championships, and and Mika maybe is a little bit of a, a less experienced player. So also yeah, maybe I think that's it's why. time for him to start traveling more. Yeah, investing in his future. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just gonna kill the cue ball here, I feel. Could go to the other side. No, went to the other side. Yeah, it's not easy. It's really do, sensitive yeah. with yeah. the eight. That's why I was thinking maybe full draw and soft. You yeah. Know, like kill the cue ball. He executed well. I mean, he has to and reach the five. still has to play a good shot here to get on the four. Yeah, true. He might be able to reach the four and then play two rails out for the five. See you. What he chooses, maybe let's the eight. Oh, he closes the five now, which is not a good point. Still, he, he would be able to to cut the five off the six into the side. From here, it's tough to say, but looks like he can go two rails. 
Wow, we played it with reverse. Yeah. I am not sure if he got yeah, on this five. Yeah, the thing is, he flicked the, the six, and actually the six was a helping ball to, to make the five on the side, so this is not a good news for him. I don't know. I don't know if he can cut this. It, it really looks sharp. I mean. Yeah, just cut the five to the short reel. Yeah. And maybe get the kill behind the seven, yeah. I feel. Yeah, that's what it did. Of course, it's always object ball first, but the hook behind the seven okay. is not really a bonus. You have no, Nowadays, yeah. with yeah. such a high level play, you have to get behind the seven. Even, even if you don't have time under a shot clock to really estimate to get the snooker, it's, it's tougher. Try it. yeah, Still of course, try it, of course, but it's definitely. difficult, yeah. yeah. He's gonna get his jump cue, and now he's called his extension. This is talking about the shot clock. He's called his extension to go to his chair and get the jump cue. He mm. could have brought both. Yeah. Maybe not use his extension. Yeah. Could come into play later this yeah. week. True. So this is uh, experience. He's called he a bank he shot on the yeah. five. He could have also curved the cue ball. Close, and is he gonna get lucky? I, yeah. Try to play a kind of, you know, kick. Not kick and stick, but kick and go to the side rail behind the 10. Sort of. He yeah. elects, he elects the aggressive one. Well, in general, younger players play a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. And also, <laughs> I know both. They are pretty aggressive too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like they, oh. Yeah, thick hit here. Yeah, big, it was really mistake, trying to yeah. thin the five, yeah. but. This is gonna be costly. Yeah, I mean, it was it, it really was a thick. big angle too. So the cut, you know, it looks really simple. You say, oh, he's just gonna thin the five, but yeah, definitely way was more. He was going towards the uh, yeah. the pocket, so definitely has to, he really has to he really had to thin it, which he didn't. Pretty decent layout here, the only thing. Yeah. Maybe getting on the 10. That's what I was going to say. Just, I mean, it's so obvious yeah. how to get on the 10, especially now you can go three rails forward. You can even draw straight over if you want. I like going forward. It's easier to determine the speed. Yeah, definitely. Here. Yeah, it's a very natural flow around the table. Mika van Berkel now closing the gap a little bit, trailing 2 1. But I think he is going to be happy to finally get the first game on the board because yeah. he made the mistakes to give. Yannick, the, the chances to get so far. Yeah, opportunities on the first two games. So. Yeah, he's going for the break the next, so he has an opportunity also to take the, for a break and run to tie up the match at two games apiece, so. Yeah, so later today, we also have the World Temple Women's Championship Final. It's Cheska Centeno and Han Yu. Yeah, two great players. Philippines <coughs> and China. So definitely a world title going to Asia for this year. Yeah, we are witnessed as such great semifinals in the women's division, yeah, with the Kelly Fisher and Alison Fisher, who lost both actually, but it was really great contest. He's switching side though for the break, trying to break on the left side this one. I mean our left side. Good square hit, but then the cue ball got a little bit, he hit it a little bit too low. That's why the cue ball got up table so straight. Yeah, also, look at the one, 
Yeah. We got a little push from the five and it hung in the side. Yeah, almost made it. Yeah. If you look at where the two is, if he just had made the one, yeah, that would have, made would have been all right. Yeah, but big difference here. It's part of the game. I mean, think he's going to try the, to kill the cue ball behind the six, which what it, that's what he did. Not leaving a jump is an issue here, but as we see, Mika was jumping so well already in the match. So. Yeah, we've seen a great job so far, but I do like two reels. Yeah, of course, I think there reels. is, uh, yeah. when you bring the cue ball to the 3, 4, 10, yeah. this area, I think there's many things that could happen. He's going over the other way, but yeah, he's going to try to make it on the side, I think. I think he called it on the side, you know. But yeah, it's just that not so many traffic, of not so much traffic, yeah, not yeah, so yeah. many balls on the top side of the table. True. So he didn't leave a shot on the one, but that was always going to be more luck than if he sends any yeah. ball to other So actually obstacles. it was a kind of a more aggressive shot to try to make it on the side. I feel like it, yeah. Said. They're both young and aggressive, so... So Yannick missed a good opportunity here because I felt he could have played the cue ball behind the nine. So that's, yeah, it you know, it's a small little detail. Yeah, There's yeah. one extra ball in between. To make it tougher for your opponents. Yeah. I mean. have to favor Mika hitting this, but he's called the yeah. top right corner in this view, so from this angle, depending on the speed. Yeah. Okay, he nice hit. Full in the face. I think he was he was willing to hit it two rails. Maybe cut directly. Yeah. Oh cut. Maybe, like, maybe directly into the yeah. cut and then the cue ball is going yeah. away from the two. Regardless, it's got safe. Yeah, I think Yannick is able to see an age. Oh, no. no I thought he was able to see the age of the ball. So, right here. so now he's going two rails? Yeah. Oh, oh just no. one? Yeah. Oh, he came too short. Yeah, oh. the thing is, he, he could have tried to hit, to go two rails and clip the one ball, try even to make it and send the cue ball up table. That was the the shot this shot was on but you're always afraid not to hit it so he only went for the the one rail being able to to be sure to hit it just he wondering didn't. if he's gonna go over the right side of the five or he's gonna go in between, yeah, in between. if he g went around the five he would have a better angle going to the three yeah. ball now he will have to go in between the traffic again yeah plus he has to I think Q over the six ball, which is never easy. Might be just okay spinning the yeah, ball, but yeah, visually the six ball is on his way. So yeah, the six ball is a big ball here. Yeah, yeah two that's rails. Great. That's great. I mean, yeah, a little match on the six, but yeah. he's played a good shot there. Just now to have something on the four. Yeah. I mean the six ball was a big ball here. It was uh, pretty much laying in the center of the table, so. Can he float this in and shoot the four? No. Yeah, okay, he was going to take the cut for sure on the four. That's a, that's a good you know, choice, I, I mean. Yeah, I, I like what he's done because usually people, they want to go travel more to get on the four. To get they better on they the four. Yeah. yeah, to get more straight on the four. He just said, you know, I don't really care what I get on the four as long as I have something with yeah, a good yeah. angle. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's fine. I mean, it's and that's fine. also one thing I really like about his game is he plays really big angles. Yeah. So he's not afraid to shoot because the cue ball is always going in a natural way. Yeah, true. You don't have to force the cue ball so often. Yeah. It's yeah, one of his strengths. Yeah. Done so well on the three four at this time. Wow, he killed that one really good. So, stop shot on the six. What a to touchy go shot that was on the four. He yeah, really yeah, killed it really good. I mean, he had to be straight on the six. Yeah, I feel if he plays a stop shot, he's perfect on the seven to go three or four rails to get to the eight. So, still level the score. It's fine. You can really manipulate the seven ball with a stun to go one, to go short, long and short to reach the eight. 
has to pay attention not to be straight in on the eight, though. Yeah. The good thing is it's always going to have reverse spin on the last rail. Yeah. So if you pl at least just play decent pace, usually, yeah. like it happened now, you get off the rail. And it's really tough to get too far yeah, after yeah. four rails as well. So yeah, I'm guessing more chances to get straight on the head than too far. Absolutely. I'm guessing it was going to go two rails forward. Plays a lot of forward position mm -hmm. play as well. Yeah. Just because forward going forward for the viewers at home, going forward always has more feel to the cue ball. Yeah, it's so a more natu natural, yeah. natural way to feel the speed of the cue ball. That's why usually when people draw the ball, they don't get perfectly yeah. where they are. Yeah, for sure. Rolling is much more natural. You don't create that reverse sliding stuff on the cloth. So, so to each, we have a final here. Yeah. For a second, it looked like Miko was not gonna show up. And we'll go for a short little break. We'll be right back. the better player will still win. This temple to win the title. He is your champion. You will champion. champions Back here from the World Junior Championships, run by Predator and the WPA. We just seen our defending champion in the girls. She defended her title from last year. Great, yeah. Hong. Hong from Chinese Taipei. Very impressive showing. Oh, and this is a big break. Yeah, very. Especially impressive. the timing as well. He's, you know, Mika has leveled the score to each, and then to make two balls on the break finally get some shot after the break. If you run out here, you kind of slap the other guy in the face, saying, yeah. hey, I'm still here, yeah. don't forget me. You know, it's, it's a good reminder, you know, sometimes you have to show that you're still, you're still there. Absolutely true, yeah. Yes. And by meaning slapping in the face, no, <laughs> no physical, no, uh, here. no people were hurt <laughs> in this video, you know, just saying. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, there is a shot here where we could just bump the five towards the side rail to make it easier to go from the four to the five, you know, because now he has a lot of work to do on the four to the five. He, if yeah. he would have maybe bump a little bit the five towards the, 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 the side rail, it would have been like easier to reach it. On the other side, as long as he stays close to his work, yeah. he should be fine to yeah. maneuver the cue ball around. When he gets really long, he could miss a shot. So, so now he got Pretty all right. He just he won't be able to get to the right side of the seven to drop down for the eight. That's it. So just wondering, can he get to where he can draw the cue ball around? Maybe. Oh, he's still jacking up, so he's trying to g still get there. Yeah, the good point. This is, is this is a good shot yeah, because there was a absolutely. lot of throw with playing that yeah. stun. Absolutely. That's why maybe he took his extension to, to 
to slow down a little bit and uh, make yeah, sure he got there. Well, it was key yeah. shots for sure. Yeah. And like I said, it's such a, a big rack to... And also for himself, because the, the first two games he's won, it was based on Mika's yeah, mistakes, mistakes. And not really about what he really has done, was yeah. making two or three balls. Now he's showing, hey, I'm in this final two. I'm feeling still good. Yeah. The break worked. Big thing. Gives yeah. confidence a lot, especially in the hand drag format. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think he pockets the two balls that were underneath the one ball in the rack in both sides pocket yeah. on this break. So that's a big thing. Proves a really square and powerful hit on the break. So. Yeah, 3 2. And. In case you're not familiar with both of these players, Yannick Ponger is a runner-up in the European Men Championship in the straight pool division. Um, also in the Dutch selection, like Mika van Berkel, also in the Dutch selection. Of course, both in the younger side of the selection, but I'm sure they're going to be growing. And then Mika van Berkel, one that doesn't travel that much, but he's won the 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 Joshua Filler Open, the Junior Open. He's won that event. So definitely around the junior players showing yeah. that he's definitely amongst the top. Yeah, yeah, true. So yeah, that's why most of the p people don't really get to know some of them because you know some of them also don't have the funding to just travel everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But uh, for sure it's gonna come. I mean, they are committed to the sport, they are young. They are in a, in, a, in a great country to grow, so I mean... Oh, he's made a 10 on the break, didn't get on the 1. A little bit too much draw on the cue ball. Yeah. Might be a and this is there. also a thing, like... When you practice a break, or when you're trying to figure out how to squat the cue ball, in practice you should be trying to go aim extremely low in the cue ball yeah. and see if that makes you to get to pop the cue ball. Yeah or maybe high, the, f everybody has their own yeah. sweet spot to aim because of how their body comes up or Absolutely. maybe moves in the shot. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're practicing the break shot, make sure you try out different spots in the cue ball. Sure. For example, Shane Van Boning is extremely, he's, he's touching the cloth all his strokes, but then, I mean, we all know how he breaks. Yeah, that suits him. Well, that was a push for a jump here. Very aggressive push out. Got close to make the one. Did he get safe? He got, yeah, good, pretty safe here actually. Yeah. He did leave a kick carom on the two, which would result guaranteed to have a shot after. Yeah. If you dare to play it soft, that's the the one yeah, note. Like some people thing, will yeah. play it a little bit firmer just to make the shot, but I feel you have to go here for both. Yeah, he's going. Yeah, good shot there. At least good attempt. He's not selling out though. Maybe Mika has to play. One more. Oh, he's, go he's going like kind of a two way shot here. Trying to bank the one and stay below the eight, ten. Maybe use the four as blockers. Yeah, I definitely played yeah, the. The thing I is, was just yeah. I was just. In, yeah, I was just going to say just draw to the short rail and play it with a good punch. Yeah. Like the one is going. He's flying up table anyways if you don't make yeah, it. And also the speed he chose widen the angle of the one ball so much i mean you would have liked to stiff it a little bit you know to stiff it well and especially with the predator arcadia cloth it's it's day six and it's still yeah. playing with just a little slide it's still playing new so yeah. just make sure you stun a ball like that yeah yannick was trying to get catch the left side and bring the cue ball around yeah just caught it a little bit thick I think he called the top left. Yeah, just in case he just caught the ball yeah. thick. I mean, that's what happens sometimes. Didn't really leave much unless Mika is going very aggressive and just cuts it. Yeah. Can run into the eight, can yeah. draw away. Good shot there. Made it I look mean. easy. Yeah, really made that one look easy. It's mean, such a it's, it's a yeah. blind cut and also yeah. with the draw, he's playing also the soft draw too. Like it's really sensitive. If you put some spin on the cue ball, for yeah. sure you're missing it. Yeah, pretty obvious path to go to the three. Then the four, it looks open also. 
I think I went a little bit too far, too straight on the three, but I mean, it's still okay. Maybe you will draw it with left to the side rail and back towards the five. Or you can stun it also using a powerful stroke, yeah. Extension. He's checking his options here. Myself, I'd like to draw it back with maybe a lot of left, but it really depends if he has if he has a slight angle leading him towards the side rail. I think he might be able to still play stun, yeah. stun top, and just go two rails forward. No, you might not get close, close yeah. to the four, but you still have to punch. Okay, he went one rail. Yeah, and that, that was a pretty, pretty firm hit. The, the, the main thing is get something decent on the four, and yeah. he doesn't have to draw on this. Just make the four get straight on the five. You're, yeah. you're already good. So in this case, it didn't really ask much for yeah. the cue ball position. Make sure he doesn't cue above the seven, though. Yeah, he's okay. I mean, the 8 to the 9 will be a little bit challenging. Well, also uh, 7 to the 8. If yeah. he gets straight on the 7, he will have to play for the side. There's a yeah. couple... Yeah, yeah. How do you say this? There's like a couple booby traps. <laughs> you know, like... Oops, he missed it. Yeah. Oh, wow. He didn't He didn't stay compact on the shot. I mean, he, he, he looks to have played it a little bit in a hurry, you know? Yeah, I think that's also one of the dangers of their style is because they're so fluent and so, well, not careless, but so smooth. Yeah, yeah. That sometimes they just don't really, they're not there with their, like, with yeah, their yeah. consciousness, you know? Like, they're not conscious about what's happening. It's just in such a natural flow. Yeah, yeah. And at some point, yeah, it's going to it's gonna get you. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, your, your strengths are always your weaknesses, you know? It's pretty much always like that. You have qualities, but then if you don't stay compact on those type of shots, then most likely you'll miss it. So, so still going forward. And oh, looks to be a little straight on the eight. Might have to play the short side of the nine, especially with the nine on the rail. Yeah. I don't like it. Can he force an angle out? He's going to try. Wow. That <laughs> yeah, was a good, good shot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, especially shooting the nine to the top right. Most of the players don't like yeah. to shoot along the rail, so he really tried to make something happen here, and it it's did. done well. Yeah, so Mika van Berkel did have a great chance to level the score, but it's Yannick Pongers leading 4-2. Yeah. Yeah, as I said, you always have your strengths. Is always uh, is always going to be your weakness. I mean, the way he played that nine ball on the side with stun is a kind of a free will shot. You know, he, he just went a hundred percent for it into a rhythm, and he got away with it. So Maybe in the future uh, they will learn how to stay a little bit more compact. Many different juniors in the crowd here, also from the Federation. Martin Kombrink, Hugo Duivenvoorde, national coach. Of course they are present, even though it's all Dutch final, of course they're there. But if one of the players takes a timeout, I am definitely sure nobody's going yeah. to help them out like now they're on their own which usually if they take a time out they yeah. get a little support but now they cannot be rooting f one side yeah. or the other they have to i understand i think it's a nice thing to do square hit on the one just feel he didn't really Smash put much him, into yeah. it yeah just a more technical yeah. break you see a nice follow through but not much more yeah this is a kind of break where where the balls, when the balls are tapped or racked with a template, then, then yeah, it's then it's very break. effective. Yeah, yeah, very effective. He's a little bit different with the ball being racked uh, by the referees. Just wondering, the only spot I think I would leave the one is either on the long rail where the seven is. Yeah. And then probably leave some kind of cut safe on yeah. the one, or all the way up table and roll up behind the 6-8 but I'm expecting but oh 
Well, he did. He wow. did tie up the 9-10. Yeah. I'm not sure he was trying to do <laughs> no. it, but actually, it's a 2-1 and yeah. one. It's a great shot. I was going to say, everything down table is yeah. most likely going to be Yannick shooting. Yeah, the thing is, the, the 6 and 8 are really two great blockers if you go on the other side of the one. And uh, uh, I don't know if he can hold the cue ball here. Still, he could bank the one over. And yeah. You bump the five and still go forward. Maybe you yeah. play some inside and you could still get behind the six. Yeah. Just play the one. Play the one behind the ten. Yeah, oh, yeah. he beat the kiss and uh, still like it, shot. Yeah, it was just was main thing was the one ball. He's done a good job. And yeah, that was a great shot. I mean, he couldn't have it this any better. I mean, he's locked the one ball up, but he's also create distance and uh, distance. And I don't think there's many like much side yeah. to to manipulate the one. Yeah. yeah, like you will have to play so much side to maybe cut the one. I, we don't see problem if he has the, if he can see all the one ball. I mean the left, his left side of the one ball. Yeah, he could. Yeah, so, so thick. Yeah. So something I forgot to mention early in the match, we are playing WPA rules, which means there's no early 10 balls. Or at least it doesn't win you the game. It just spots back up and you continue. Yeah. No 10 on the break. And all ball fouls, which is very important nowadays. So many different rules in the game. This was a pretty easy safety. Yeah, he would have liked to not yeah, to f to freeze the, the cue ball on the 10 ball so that Mika wouldn't be able to go even one rail. I think I yeah. also think that Wonderful he hit. wants to make sure he hits the one, but the two rails from the other side is really effective also because you can cut it and make it and still get shape on the one, which is not the case if you make this. So uh, I just feel he was just so going for the for the making the one. Yeah, and what I feel I is was going thinking this about going way. two rails for sure. Yeah, but going this way, you are sure to hit the one and try to make it. And going the other way around, some new balls, new cloth, it's... it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Th for sure. But just kicking it to make it, so tough. Yeah, so aggressive. Yeah. That's so why I, I like the other shot, because it, by going two rails and coming into this line, you can make it, but also if you if you hit a little bit thicker, then the cue ball would separate from the two. I think the six ball passes the eight, so everything is open here for Yannick. I yeah, think. I just need to get a little straighter. That's why he played. Wow, great shot there. Yeah, just a little. He didn't really need to do that much. Could have jacked yeah. up and stopped the cue. It was all right, but wanted to get straighter, and actually he got too straight. Still, he's cheating the pocket nicely. He's gonna draw here two rails. Make sure he's got good natural angle coming in to the line of the position. Yeah, because it, it need, you really need to be n not far from the seven ball. Yeah, I think he's a little bit too far from the seven because the eight is right in the middle of the short rail. He don't care. <laughs> I was yeah, gonna okay. say he just don't. Yeah, but then sometimes then he really doesn't care in this position yeah, because of the position of the nine ball. He doesn't care. But if the nine ball would have been closer to the ten yeah. ball, for example, then it would have been too straight. You know. So. Yeah, I agree. I just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just know them, and yeah. in general, they don't care so much about. The, oh, I'm a little bit further. Boom! Yeah, <laughs> just they shoot. Sometimes it's a great helps. skill too. You know, yeah, sometimes they have course. to shoot, and they they get it done. Yeah. So just to get, again, a big lead, five two. I feel Yannick is just moving a little bit better than. Yeah, Mika it, from two each, a couple True. better safeties and a couple things where Mika maybe chose a more easy kick than yeah. a more difficult with better results, like sm small yeah. little choices. Yeah. Mm. True. And he's missed that five ball, which could be really yeah. costly if you look at the whole match. Yeah, because it really was a straight in shot, and I found it, he didn't really commit himself to the shot. So. But that's what's tough. I mean, you have to get concentrated and committed 100% on each shot during a long period of time, and that's not easy. It's always easier from the booth. So, what do you think about maybe 
mentioning our sponsors and partners. Let's have a look. We have, of course, Predator Group for running the event, the whole event, using the Predator Apex Stable, Predator Arrow Rack, Predator Arcus Two Balls, Predator Arena Lights, still my favorite lights on the market. Yeah. Uh, Predator Bridges. I think soon they're gonna have Predator Chairs, maybe? No? <laughs> Okay, so thank you to Predator Group, Richtwecht, Billiard Sport Academy, Yasmin Oshan, and Kamori Brand. And with the local support of Klagenfurt Tourism and the region of Carinthia. Rack number eight, Mika Breaking, changed his breaking spot, was breaking from the side. He's made the seven in the side now. And, and the four right now. Don't know if he got something on the one ball. Might be a a cut but with a lot of outside spin might yeah. be makeable and he has to come back down for the two yeah the break might, was I good though I, yeah, yeah the yeah, good break yeah yeah, yeah I'm, I'm shooting here maximum spin is gonna throw the one more to the outside and was gonna be automatic to get on the two mm, just okay. a little yeah. fun but well he, he got okay and also he did not get great yeah. so he got a little bit more angle on the two so if he's gonna cut, I would run into the four. Yeah. But I if think he's he has not, to use if the he bridge, doesn't, yeah. yeah, which I I wouldn't mind. But that's also most of the pool players don't like to use a bridge. So he's playing safe, maybe drawing. Yeah, he was yeah. gonna try and get yeah. behind the four, but yeah. the it's not gonna hand it. It was so cubal sensitive, also. I was thinking maybe get the cubal behind the ten three. They have a bigger yeah. area. When I saw him queuing, I was thinking he was going behind the eight instead of going behind the four because the six ball is there. And if he had missed it the other way, then the six ball will, would have got it into play, you know. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, also, a nice fact to mention is. Oh, wow. I was about Did to say that he will be on the hill. <laughs> But no, I mean, it yeah. if you look at the layout, you would really favor him. I'm yeah. Just because of queuing over the eight, maybe yeah. using a little spin. Yeah. I was yeah. just going to mention, there are roommates also here. Oh, really? <laughs> so. <laughs> That's nice. I mean, like yeah. I mean <laughs> it's tough. It's tough because, yeah, yeah, they are young. They are friends, probably. They're and also yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah. They spend mu so much time together. That's also something that comes into play in this yeah, match too because they've played each other many times they're yeah. also friend around the table of outside course. of the table and it's always like we are talking about being world champion here so yeah this is tough for the years but anyway they they experience lots of emotion and this will help them become becoming better pool players in their career i mean this is all good experience for them. But sometimes it's tough, yeah. Stun left. Good shot there. Still have a little work to do here with the eight. Going one rail <coughs> to the short rail and back up table to the middle of the table. He might be able to kill the cue ball. Oh, do you think so? But I also know he likes to play full stroke shots, so he's definitely yeah. going forward. But yeah, from this angle, I think he could kill it if he really <coughs> was scared in some way. I don't know why, but yeah. just he could. Solid I could see he just, he really executes really straight. That's, I've done challenges with him. Just putting a single ball on the table and just only make the shot, can't beat him. Just <laughs> single shot making. Now, if we're starting to talk positional yeah. play, I was beating him. But just single shot making, it was tough. He was making 9 out of 10, I was making 8 out of 10, you know, I was losing. No, it's, it's fun challenges. And, yeah, unexpected miss on the 3 from Yannick. Yeah. Makes it 5-3. And we're going to go short break and we'll be right back.
So welcome back to the finals of the world junior championships. <laughs> Let's make it a little bit more exciting, right? Yeah, no, yeah. it's been an interesting final so far. A couple of mistakes from both sides. Yeah, um, and it's always bigger when you when it comes to the world stage. I mean, it's a world championship, you know. Both players try to play their heart out to win that title. I mean, well, also most of the people in general never get to even represent their country in a world championship yeah. let's let's imagine even play a final yeah let's just most of the most of the people look at this and take it for granted so obviously the title will go to the netherlands this year which is a good point for you and your teammates but yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah also this has always been a great uh, championship to build champions. I mean, we already we already talked about Copingy, Sanchez Ruiz, Fedogorst, but also to, into the women's division, Kristina Tekac, Cesca Centeno, Yasmin Ushan, all having claimed the trophy of the world girls title. So this is, I mean, a great starter for a career to be a world junior champion. I mean, Yes, yeah, so Mika van Berkel got to the finals, beating Joey Tate 7-3, Dugal Ranvir 7-5, Khalid Algamdi 7-5, and Juan Fu 7-2 to play the final, and Yannick Pongers beat also Juan Fu 7-1. Yeah. Henry Nguyen, 7-2, then losing to Claudio Kachi, 7-3, beating Sylvan Starkerman, 7-4, Pavel Boguzewski, 7-5, and then beating Claudio Kachi again, 7-3. Wow. So a little different route. Yannick won, uh, lost one match. Yeah, but Mika won all of the matches so far, but actually there was a couple different players also that could have played in the final like it was not just these two that yeah, could have gotten there definitely i mean the um, the young brother of uh Ek and Kachi, i mean Claudio, i saw him played many times and i mean he's already almost a top player he's been such great players in the previous open uh, in the year so i w he was kind of one of the favorites and again Khalid uh, i i saw him play I saw him already. Be he beat Nils, I think, in one of the opens. Of yeah, this, I just this year. Th th these are kids that play on the professional tour yeah. and actually hold their nerves well. You know, they they get the experience. They they're starting to mature really fast. Yeah, which I mean, from usually on this e on this age, you know, they're playing with toys. It's just yeah. <laughs> the yeah, no, yeah, basically yeah. saying no, like yeah, on this yeah. age. No, yeah, they're I not busy thinking about yeah. nerves and pressure and, and and thinking the best shots, you know. Usually they just shoot. And that's what I'm saying. There's many good players out. Yeah. And these two are, I mean, for this championship, maybe the best. But there's pff, maybe three, four, five other players that could be in this oh final. Oh, yeah. I definitely put uh, Kachi into them. And also Khalid, young Khalid. I saw him played in Spain. And he was playing Nils nine ball. And it was like... 6-6 six, six and missed, the w missed the one ball and he never got back to the table. He lost 9-6. And it was in the last stage of the tournament. I mean, big tournament. So Interesting mistake on the two ball from Yannick. Yeah. And it's now two racks in a row where he's made a yeah, mistake. Yeah, missed the three ball on the side on the previous rack. Yeah, yeah, three ball on the side. Now, okay, he got jacked up and had to play top spin, which is really scary to play. So I under I mean I can understand why he's missed it too, but in this case he's really letting Mika getting back to the table yeah. and back in the match. True. Ooh. Oh. Still still got there. It's okay. Scary shot, though. It's not a gimme. Yeah, he's made it. 
great shot. You see both players are wearing the EPBF patches. Because they are part of the EPBF program for the youth players. Also, we are using EPBF referees here. Glad to have them wrecking the balls. I mean, the players would not have liked if I would be doing it, so I'm glad they are here. <laughs> yeah, it's always tough to wreck the balls. I mean, yeah, it's just, you know, if you wreck the balls 10 hours a day, you know, it's, it sounds really easy. I've seen people in Vietnam do it in the local pool rooms. They have, on, like, they have area refs, and at every table they wreck the balls for you. But they just don't care about how they put them. Yeah. So uh, they work 12 hours, but it, you get bad wrecks too. You know, it makes no sense. It's great that they have them, but yeah. no quality. This in this way, you know, they have a referee course. They all yeah, at least yeah. get to a certain level. Yeah, it's just a, b a minimum, you know. And also, I believe that the cloth here is really staying new, and it's really make it easier to wreck the ball because what the when the the cloth is getting a little bit old, then you have really trouble to rack the balls properly. Yeah, because every ball gets a, a spot in yeah. the table, you know, the, the the sweet spot. So that's how most of the people, that's when they play rack your own, they rack for like five or ten minutes because yeah. they, they have to every time feel the spot on the table yeah, where absolutely. they get froze. Good shot there from Yannick. Mm, might Just have been gone a little too far here. Um, I guessing it's okay all well, from this angle it looks like one ball goes and he's called yeah. it yeah might be a window here still uh, we were to we were talking about the racks and uh, the EPB have chosen the European championships in the on the Euro was to tap the ball which could be also a good solution good shot there good long shot there on the one from Mika. Tough position though, he has to man manipulate the two balls some kind of way to play safe, or maybe he called the two seven combo, which is really aggressive here. That's really tough, I mean. Extension. Yeah, it's very aggressive, but still the two ball will go towards the corner pocket. I mean, oh no, he's playing safe. I don't think he's got safe. Yeah. He has pushed the seven to a more difficult position. Yeah, actually it was. He was trying to freeze yeah. up on the five, just play a little bit draw. Okay, so the two does not go, but Yannick can play the yeah. cue ball, yeah, it's low, low left yeah. behind the 10. I like drawing a little bit off and cutting the two up the table, cutting the two up to the nine. Oh, that was really thin. Three rails behind the six. That's perfect. I mean, but I think he's gone too far. That was a good shot, though, but really touchy. The only thing is, he would always leave the two in the open. Yeah, that's why he, he would have liked to chose like softer speed to let the cue ball towards the side rail near the pocket. Even if he l even if he's left the jump, it would have been okay. Then better than leaving a straight in shot. Still, it's a tough shot because you have to stun follow, which he did well. Yeah, just so smooth queuing. Yeah, that's nice. Pretty natural shape here on the four. Oh, well, doesn't want the eight to come into play. He's hooked himself. Yeah. I think it's still okay, L maybe. A little, little bit careless, because yeah. if he plays less left spin, he's all right, or if he plays just a touch of left, he's also good. Yeah, okay, so. I don't know if the five will pass the six. He did make the four, but I don't, I don't think it goes. Is he gonna play? Bank on the five? Really aggressive if he plays the bank. Like I think he's gonna play four wheels on the five, you know, to send it towards the nine. Five oh, he's calling the bank. Oh, he's he's going all in. Well, or he's playing it two way. If he doesn't make the bank, maybe a little wide. Yeah, I don't know. But it's better to choose one or the other. Wow, I definitely go all in. I mean, that was a, he played it 100 miles an hour. 
His left is only perfect on the five as well. Stop shot on the five. Natural angle on the six to get to the short side of the seven. Very aggressive, of course. Yeah. He's trying to make something happen. But uh, if you look at the score of 5 4, why play aggressive? Yeah. Right? Just no. I mean, different percentage than I would have played. Let's yeah, say yeah. like that. I would have definitely played a 4 rails towards the 9. Try to leave the cue ball behind Even the 6. Even if he rolled up maybe just a 5 to the short rail and get the 6 in between. Like, there's a couple yeah. shots he could have played. Because when you go all in like this, then you leave your opponent a chance to go on the hill. It's it's too aggressive, I believe. Yeah, he's got a little bit more cut on the nine. He can go twice the short rail, up and down. Just to get on the hill. Oh. That's okay. Yeah, he, he was a little doubting it just because he put a little left spin on there. But yeah. he's got perfect on the ten, so... Yannick Pongas is now on the hill in his first one more, world yeah. title. Yeah, that's a big thing. I mean, I also know how much he's been wanting it because two years ago he's lost the final here, and then last year in Puerto Rico, really not much happened. Like he was struggling up like quite a lot. So I know he's been really wanting to at least have this title under under his belt, and then yeah. I think it's really time for him to start chasing the international level yeah like the like not just the european level also world the stages. world stage i think right. it's time for him to step it up yeah true anyway you hey, it's will also be breaking so yeah but things can go really fast you know if he has a dry break run out break around now it's six six so it's not really yeah yeah it's not that much of an edge but at least I would be in my chair saying, okay, I might have a little time. You know, like I, yeah. I will have a couple more plays. So if I play good a couple good shots, I'm close to yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. finishing the job. That's the only thing you're looking for, to have that edge. So even if you maybe miss one shot, you might still get another chance yeah. on 6-5 or 6-6. Six six. Yeah, yeah. See how he breaks those this time. Yeah, a bit off. A little lucky. The one doesn't look like it's going. Yeah, I don't even think he has the bank on it. Let's see how the one from this angle ends up. Might come off the rail just enough. Well, there might be a cut. Yeah. And then if you go two rails into the nine, you will have the two in the corner or in the side. Yeah. That's okay. Oh. A little speedy. Yeah. A little speedy. Yeah, that was a technical shot because you have to really have to stay down on the shots and play your heart. Soft speed. He overheated a little bit, but he has to play defense now. Yeah, he got away with it. I mean he creates spaces between balls. I don't think Yannick could jump this one. Well, we said that before, and then Mika made the jump. <laughs> yeah. But no, in this yeah, case, this I really don't like yeah. the jump. I like what he had has done with shooting the two into the five. Yeah. That's what to to have the two stay there. That's Just good. the cue ball was a little, a little gambling. Good I shot also there. like how he's hit this. Yeah. Really good speed. Yeah. From Yannick Pongers. Good choice selection. I mean, he, he chooses the right speed and the, the right stroke to to make sure he will create distance between the balls. Yeah, it's just, you know, also with the speed, you catch a little thicker or thinner. You're behind the 10, behind the 3, behind yeah, the 5. Options. There's many good things. Just a little unlucky to leave the two ball in the open. Yeah, good shot there. I think he got perfect to play the 3-7 combination. Oh. Wow. Perfect Crazy. speed. Yeah. yeah. The only thing he has to guard himself for is the 3 might be moving a little bit if he catches the 7 thin. Yeah. Yeah, he really has to play with soft speed there. Yeah, good shot. Okay. The they six they, is they don't really think about what could go wrong either. <laughs> like, they just... Yeah. They feel that was... Yeah, you just float it in. Sure. Yeah. 
Actually, both are opening nicely. I mean, the six is giving him the eight. The right side of the eight to to go back to from the the nine. So everything is pretty much uh, open here. The four to the five. You have to draw back or stun it. Yeah, and oh, yeah, that was close. Yeah, he would be happy not to have it that uh, ten ball thicker, but uh, it's okay. I mean. Now yeah, for, from here, everything yeah. is connected and yeah. we need to get from the 8 to the 9, yeah, absolutely. which is just half the table traveling. Yeah, he, mi he might choose really accurately his angle here on the 8 ball, but if he want a thicker hit to go past the 10 on the right side or on the left side and get close to the 8. Yeah, like this. This is a good way to play the 8-9 because it's close to the 8 and he has pretty much the angle he wanted to go one way out here yeah just like that and leave himself a nice angle on the on the 9 staying close to the balls I'm guessing he's gonna go low left yeah for the 10 in the side yeah good timing shot I mean he, he catches the, the right line here And even Yannick hit that kick on the two ball really well. He left the two ball, unfortunately, in the open. Well, it's also kicking is always going to be a little luck. Like you always need a yeah. little luck, but most of it you can influence, you know, by speed or yeah. like guessing. Okay, I want to hit this side because I can get lucky there and there. To and this then speed and uh, but yeah. then you're never you're playing over a rail, so you're never actually going to hit it perfect and with the perfect speed yeah, for you sure. can just only guess what's gonna happen sure. so even though he played a good shot okay Mika ran out this would not be something I would be sick about yeah absolutely B but sometimes it happens you know some players they get you know disappointed because they feel oh I hit it so good oh yeah. you know I played a horrible shot I should have been safe like some players yeah, yeah. really think like this yeah you know, he's Mika on the other side. He's really just trying to stay in it. I like his mental approach. Yeah. You know, like he's just trying to hang in there. Steady. Can make something happen here on the break. And as you said, all of a sudden, if if, if he breaks and runs out here, it's a hell. I mean, it's close. Oh. That yeah. four went 100 miles an hour yeah. and still hung up on the corner. Wow. Good break here. A little bit off, though. Uh, yeah. Whoa. And there you see the yeah. replay. That four was really, <laughs> really speedy. Just hung yeah. up. It's called a bank. Yeah, maybe How to run, run into the two to try to get a shot here. No, okay. Oh, he could have gone three rounds. Yeah. Is the cue ball too... Yeah. Might be too speedy. Oh, he's hooked himself. Oh, and actually, he's hooked himself pretty bad here, too. Can't yeah. even hit. Uh, this short is aggressive, roll. I mean. I'm just wondering if he considered playing a safety. Yeah, he saw the bank and he went also, for it. Also, he, he was in control, you know, he's 6 5 up. Yeah. Good okay. kick here, but. Yeah, the only good thing for Yannick is that he has left an angle running towards the 10-5. Yeah. He could go in between the 10-6 and go <laughs> three rails around, yeah, but you really have really to find a gap. Yeah, because... Even if you nudge the 6, you scratch. Yeah. If you and and yeah. plus the, the pocket is on the way also. Yeah. So... Not easy at all. Yeah. Wow, we found what it. What is the cue ball? Hard. Did he get the speed? Did wow. he get the speed? That oh, he the got the speed. That wow, what a shot. shot. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, what accurate this was to go three rails in between the 10 6, avoiding the scratch and having the right angle on the three to, to run this rack. I mean, A little, str a little straighter on yeah. the four than would have flight can still cheat. 
But if he had more angle, he would be able to get a little lower on the five. Yeah, this is where the freewheeling comes into play because he would have liked to really pay attention to be higher on that because now he's far away from the five and y you don't want to have the three ball he had and r resulting in having this five ball he has. You know, yeah, I also feel with the styles they play because they like to shoot from, you know, long shots, they don't care in general. If they just keep playing the good angles, yeah. then they shouldn't really be missing many balls as well. Yeah, oh, this you, is you a don't want to, to have those type of shots. I mean, he was really good on the three ball and he has to make the effort to be pretty good, better on the four ball than he was. Have a decent angle on the four, get close to the five yeah. and you're yeah. easy. Now and he, he wouldn't be here on the six. Now just saying, you see, he, he just was gonna shoot. He was like, okay, let's take a little time. Call That's this good. extension. I like it, but still, yeah. you know, this is a really tough shot. Yeah. You have to play, he's playing high ball. I like to just play low left. Oh, he's played the safe, okay. This is a good decision. I, I mean, mean I, yeah. I, I don't mind him at all because yeah. the shot to the corner really was missable. Yeah, I think if you were playing nine ball, it's not a good shot. But playing ten ball is a way better shot because he, you really uh, want your opponent to call it, and anything can happen. You know, in ten ball is different story. So we got away with it. Yeah, almost That's scratched yeah. and almost. Had the six down table, but both almost doesn't count. Yeah, that's part of the game. Almost only counts in jeu de boule. <laughs> now, right? <laughs> yeah. Now he really has to figure out how he's gonna thin that six and go behind the, the nine ball. That's I like how thin yeah. he hit that six. If he gets that's the speed perfect. right, if he wow, what a shot from Mika van Berkel. He's eliminated also the one real kick over the long side, which is such a big deal. This could be a game-winning shot to get him on the hill. Yeah, this is tough. This is really tough to hit, though, to, to find the, the right wow. line on the two rails. Great safety play here by Mika. He's checking if the seven ball passes the nine. I think so. So maybe he will go below the six, just as he's doing, to go up table for the seven. Yeah, stun off the rail. Could even choose to shoot the eight in the side, but I just like to just drop off the yeah. rail, shoot the eight in the top left. Ooh. Well, left himself a little more angle on the eight. Yeah. Of course, still makeable, but I thought he had a decent angle to drop off the yeah, rail. Maybe he was afraid of the nine. Oh yeah, maybe he had to play pocket nine. speed. Yeah. Maybe he didn't get to play the whole pocket on the seven. Great shot there. So two balls left to get our first decider of the day. I don't think it gets any better for the pool fans that are watching this. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Especially for the Dutch people. <laughs> like, I mean, they <laughs> Yeah, Mika van Berkel ties the score six each. And we're going to have a Hill Hill Thriller. Can't get any better than this. So we're just gonna nip out real fast for a little break. We're gonna be right back with the last rack. So welcome back at the World Junior Championships. We're 
Six each. Yannick Pongers and Mika van Berkel. Made a nine in the corner. Does he get something on the one? He does have something on the one. Good break though. Really yeah, powerful break. Straight in the face as well. Yeah. Just hit him square in the face, making, I believe, two balls. So nothing wrong with the break. Just maybe the eight got in the way. If the eight got in the way, I might bank the one behind the five seven three and leave the kill ball in the bottom right corner in this view. Yeah, I mean, I did tough, uh, th 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 not so many options. Mm. Tough position. A, a, a lot tougher than it looked, actually. The shot I mentioned is very sensitive on the speed. Can he cut the one into the eight and bring the cue ball down? Yeah, oh, like he, that shot, yeah. oh, he played around the eight. I really like it. This could be a... Yeah, because a you take the jump shot out of the equation here. And yeah, exactly. I was going to say, this could be a winning... Like a match winning shot too, because there is no jump. Yeah. You really have to kick decent or you leave him wide open. Yeah, and this is the kind of shot where you want to go long, short, and then clip the one and send the cue ball towards the six and eight. But oh then you definitely have the risk not to not to hit it and give ball in hand. Yeah, yeah, one will add it. Oh look at the cue ball. Oh, yeah, the thing is, yeah, he just he's still sold out. I was yeah. gonna say, but scratching is even worse. So yeah, but I mean, he uses only the one rail kick, I think, to make sure he hit it. Now Yannick has the opportunity here to to win that title. He's a little flat. He's flat on the two ball, though. He has to draw back to the side pocket which he did really good now the main thing is getting a decent angle on the four yeah dropping to the short side of the five but not yeah you know n no angle going to the bottom of the table True. he needs something to get back up for the six yeah i think he has it yeah both players struggled during the match like the beginning of the match yeah. but i feel yeah the, the ending of the match both well, players have been really on top of the game, and no, I think he is yeah. pretty decent here. Yeah, he can okay. even go forward two rails, play with top right, short rail, long rail. There's many ways to play this. Also, like he could play draw. Yeah. Also, I like the way he struck this, and looks to be perfect on the six. Unless yeah. if he gets straight and on top of the eight. Wow. Wow. This is unbelievable. Yeah, because coming from the these two rails. The the eight ball shouldn't have come into play. I mean, yeah, you just, you have just such a big yeah. area where you can land in. He's wow. got. Oh wow. my wow. lord! What a shot he's played here! Can you believe this? He massed that ball. Yeah, that was great. <gasps> Actually, he was close to the ball, and the ball was close you to know, the pocket. The, but the still, I he's mean. most likely to win the world championships yeah. playing this shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that this is not something one. most of the people would even dare to Yeah, this is one of the risk. highlights of the day, definitely. Yeah, he wanted to make sure he got off the side rail, which he did perfectly. I mean, that was a hell of a run out here. Following two rails here. He's going to be close to the rail. Yeah. And it now, how yeah. are the nerves going to be coming in? Yeah. He's, he's, you know, we all know it's a makeable tempo. He should be making this. Well, he's dropping down fast. This yeah. is to win the he world has title. To go. Yeah. And it's there. Great. Yannick Pongers is our new world champion yeah. under 19. And what a massive shot to get to the Unbelievable. Yannick Pongers has done it after reaching the final two years ago. Also, congratulations to Mika van Bergen. Extremely close. So That was a great match, actually. Yeah, this was a really great match to watch. And uh, yeah, we're just going to nip out. Our next match is going to be at 3.30. Be there. Yeah. Benjamin Belhassen and Tim De Reuter. Enjoy the show. Enjoy. Well, champion under 19. Yeah, I think everyone would agree that it was uh, great. Yeah, it was my last little championship as a youth player, so I'm very happy with it. Uh, looking up for yeah the champions, and um, what was the turning point from your point of view today? Um, you mean of the match? Or? Yes. Um, yeah, I think getting up 5-2 was uh, like a big jump 
can imagine. And, yeah. Okay, that was the turning point. <laughs> it was such a tight game. Yeah, it was, uh, especially after like two mistakes in the middle game. We got a big, big, uh, yeah, how do you say it, big jump back in the game. So, yeah, yeah it was exciting. Okay, finally, please give a big hand for the new world champion. Congratulations once again. And we will start with the prize giving ceremony of our under 19 and 17 in a couple of minutes, right here. Also, liebes Publikum, bleiben Sie kurz hier. Wir bereiten alles für die Siegerehrung vor. Dann geht es über die Kategorien der Junioren, der Damen U17 und U19 in wenigen Augenblicken hier. Also, bleiben Sie bei uns. Wir haben noch viel, viel vor. Die Youngstars, die ganz großen Talente für die Zukunft, werden in Kürze hier bei uns geehrt.
ladies and gentlemen, uh, here at Blitz, this is information. We want to start with our official award ceremony in a few moments, so I'd like to come all athletes to the arena, please get to table two, and then we can start with the award ceremony. We start with the girls, under 17, and then the under 19 division. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, once again a warm welcome to the Predator World Pool Billiard Championships 2023 here in Klagenfurt, Austria. Welcome to the official award ceremony of our junior divisions. Also nochmals ganz herzlich willkommen hier zu unserer Siegerehrung der WPA Predator Junior World Championships hier im Sportpark hier in Klagenfurt und willkommen zu unserer Siegerehrung. We also want to say thank you to our sponsors and partners Landskärnten. Capital City Klagenfurt, Stadtwerke Klagenfurt and Kamui Brand. Wir sagen Dankeschön an unsere offiziellen Partner in Landkärnten, Landeshauptstadt Klagenfurt, Stadtwerke Klagenfurt und Kamui Brand. Now we want to introduce you our dignitaries for the awards presentation. Unsere Ehrengäste für die Siegerehrung möchten wir Ihnen jetzt gerne präsentieren. Please give it up a big hands of applause to the CEO of the Predator Group. Den CEO der Predator Group, wir sagen willkommen. Karim Belhac. Also give it up for the governor of Carinthia. Den Landeshauptmann von Kärnten, Dr. Peter Kaiser. Please welcome the representative of Carinthian Sports. Den Landessportdirektor aus Kärnten, Magister Arno Arthofer. We also want to say welcome to our head of the OC. Wir sagen Dankeschön unserem OK-Chef und sagen bitte in die, zur Bühne Gerhard Florian. We're lucky to have her here at our middle. She is our local hero from Klagenfurt, Carinthia. Bitte euer großer Applaus für unseren Hero Jasmin Oscha. And last but not least, give it up for the Vice President of the World Pool Billiards Association. Also, wir bitten den Vizepräsidenten der World Billiard Association zu uns, Shane Terry. So, wir möchten stellvertretend ein kurzes Interview mit dem Herrn Landeshauptmann Dr. Peter Kaiser machen. Herr Landeshauptmann, äh, ich habe Sie beobachtet, Sie haben das Junior Match angeschaut äh, und dann mitgefiebert, wie ist es gegangen draußen beim Zuschauen? Spannender kann es nicht sein, das war hochklassiger Billardsport. Ich freue mich, dass ich genau dieses Spiel jetzt hier mitverfolgen konnte. Und ich habe mir gedacht, in dem Alter diese Taktik, diese Strategie und ein so spannendes, enges Ergebnis, das ist Billardsport live und wir können uns auf die nächsten Jahrzehnte mit solchen Sportlerinnen und Sportlern erfreuen. Perfekte Werbung, natürlich auch für Kärnten, zeigt auch die Vielseitigkeit vom Sportland Kärnten. Ich glaube, das Sportland Kärnten hat einmal mehr bewiesen, auch mit dieser tollen Organisation, dass wir drei Weltmeisterschaften gleichzeitig austragen können, dass wir hier auch die Räumlichkeiten optimal nutzen, dass wir mittlerweile auch in der Billard-Weltlandschaft bereits ein fixer Punkt geworden sind und ich hoffe, dass diese positive Stimmung sich auch überträgt und auch in weiteren Veranstaltungen Niederschlag findet. Und abschließend, Herr Landeshauptmann, wie stolz macht Kärnten oder auch Sie als Landeshauptmann, Host City einer Weltmeisterschaft zu sein? 
Es ist ein florianisch uschanisches Gefühl, weil man wirklich sieht, dass wir hier in Gemeinsamkeit Land, Stadt, die engagierten Spielerinnen, Aktiven, aber auch Organisatoren sehr, sehr viel imstande sind, zusammenzukriegen. Ich bedanke mich ganz explizit bei dem Internationalen Verband, bei all jenen, die dazu beitragen, dass wir für wenige Tage, aber doch eigentlich Zentrum des Billardsports weltweit waren. Und danke allen, die dazu beigetragen haben. Vielen Dank. Dankeschön, Herr Landeshauptmann. Marco, würde ich sagen, beginnen wir mit äh, Siegerehrung. So ist es. Und wir starten mit den Namen We Want to Start with Our Girls. Third place, the winner of the Bronze Medal, representing Sweden. Dritter Platz, Bronze Medaille aus Schweden. Linnea Hjalmarström. Also third place and bronze medalist representing the Netherlands. Auch auf dem dritten Platz und bronze Medaille aus den Niederlanden. Julien Schumann. In the second place and winner of the silver medal. Zweiter Platz und Gewinnerin der Silbermedaille. Representing the United States of America. Aus den Vereinigten Staaten von Amerika. Sophia Mast. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the champion 2023 WPA Predator World Girls Junior 10 Ball Championship. Und jetzt ist es Zeit, den neuen Champion in der WPA Predator World Tour Girls Junior 10 Balls zu küren. Representing Chinese Taipei. Sie kommt aus Taiwan. Hong Xin Yu. Unser Landeshauptmann überreicht die Medaille für den dritten Platz. The Governor of Corinthia will hand over the medal for the third place. The bronze medal. The silver medal is handed over by the vice president of the WPA, Shane Terry. And the gold medal for the new world champion is handed over by the CEO of the Predator Group, Karim Berach. Ah, da wird ein bisschen schon flüchten mit der Goldmedaille. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please all rise for the national anthem of Chinese Taipei. Wir bitten Sie, sich von euren Plätzen zu erheben und der Nationalhymne von Taiwan zu lauschen. Dankeschön und euer Applaus für unsere Gewinnerinnen, die beiden 
Drittplatzierten Jolene Schumann und Linnea Heimastrom. Sophia Mast und natürlich die Gewinnerin Hong Xing Yu. Gratulation, congratulations. Thank you, ladies. All the best for the upcoming tournaments. And we will continue in our middle of table one with the award ceremony of the under 17 boys division. Bei uns geht's weiter mit den Boys unter 17 Siegerjährung und wir sehen, sie kommen schon herein und wir beginnen mit Platz Nummer 3. Third place and winner of the bronze medal representing the United States of America. Dritter Platz und Bronzemedaille aus den Vereinigten Staaten von Amerika. Grayson Wogan. Also in third place and getting the bronze medal representing Slovenia. Ebenfalls auf dem dritten Platz. Auch er bekommt die Bronzemedaille. Er kommt aus Slowenien. Max Benko. So we're still waiting for the medals. Mr. Governor, please, Governor of Corinthia, Dr. Peter Kaiser, will hand over the medals for our guys in third place. Gemeinsam mit Landessportdirektor Arno Arthofer. We continue with second place under 17 boys division. A silver medal also representing the United States of America. Bei uns geht es weiter mit dem zweiten Platz, Gewinner der Silbermedaille aus den Vereinigten Staaten von Amerika. Adrian Prasad. The silver medal is also handed over by the Vice President of the WPA, Shane Tyree. Also wird überreicht vom Vizepräsidenten. Die Silbermedaille und von Jasmin Oshan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the new champion of the 2023 WPA Predator World Under 17 10 Ball Champion. Es ist Zeit, den neuen Champion der Unter 17 hier bei uns in Klagenfurt zu küren. Congratulations, representing Indonesia. Er kommt aus Indonesien. Derin Asako Sitorus. And the gold medal is also handed over by the CEO of the Predator Group, Karim Behach. These are the winners and ladies and gentlemen, please all rise for the national anthem of Indonesia. Bitte heben Sie sich von Ihren Plätzen für die Nationalhymne von Indonesien. Thank you and congratulations to our winners this is it.
Wer ist die beiden dritten Plätze gerne nochmals für euch? Grayson Logan und Max Benko. Den zweiten Platz aus den Vereinigten Staaten von Amerika, Adrian Pressard. Und der Gewinner, Derin Asako Sitorus. Congratulations! Thank you, gentlemen, and also to you all the best for the upcoming tournaments and the upcoming career. Thanks for that moment. And we continue with our next division. Und weiter geht's bei uns und wir wünschen natürlich unseren U17 Gewinnern und dem Podium alles Gute für die Zukunft und hoffentlich ja, wird das richtig, richtig erfolgreich. Weiter geht's bei uns mit den U19 männlich und mit diesem unglaublichen Finale, wo wir ja live mit dabei waren. Last ceremony for this moment, our under 19 boys. Ladies and gentlemen, Third place and winner of the bronze medal representing Albania. Dritter Platz und Gewinner der Bronze Medaille aus Albanien. Cledio Kacci. Also in third place and bronze medal representing Hong Kong, China. Auch am dritten Platz aus Hong Kong, China. Fu Huan. Thanks to the Corinthian governor for ending up with a bronze medal. And we're looking to our next guy on the podium. Second place and winner of the silver medal. Zweiter Platz und Gewinner der Silver Medaille. Representing the Netherlands. Aus den Niederlanden. Mika van Berkel. World Pool Billiard Association Vice President Shane Terry hands over the silver medal and the flowers by Jasmine Usha. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the champion of the 2023 WPA Predator World Under 1910 Ball Championship. Es ist Zeit, den neuen Champion zu küren, der unter 19 männlich. First place representing the Netherlands. Erster Platz aus den Niederlanden. Yannick Bongers. And also in our under 19 division, the gold medal is handed over by the CEO of the Predator Group, Karim. Belhac and the flowers by the head of our C, Gerald Florian. Gibt natürlich noch Glückwünsche auch vom Landeshauptmann. Congratulations from our governor. Ladies and gentlemen, to honor the new under 19 world champion, the national anthem of the Netherlands. Bitte heben Sie sich von Ihren Plätzen für die Nationalhymne von den Niederlanden. Dankeschön und Gratulation an unsere Gewinner, an Edio Kacchi und natürlich auch an Fu Huan. And also to Mika van Berkel and the new world champion, Yannick Pongers. Congratulations! Thank you to the players for these exciting games today. Thank you for our games.
guests of honor. Thank you to our fans in honor. Thank you to all of you in front of the TVs for joining our junior divisions. See you later, 3.30 p.m. in this afternoon. We will have the big final of our women. Thanks for that. See you later. Bye. Also, liebe Fans, hier im Sportpark Yoshi, kurze Pause, aber heute cool, ist was. einiges los. Also, wer das U19-Finale schon gesehen hat, wir versprechen alles heute.